Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to size images using CSS. Uh, CSS has a property called width that controls the element's width. Just like, uh, uh, just like with fonts, we use PX, meaning pixels, to specify an image's width. For example, if we wanted to create a CSS class called larger image that gave the HTML elements a width of 500 pixels, we'd use this. Okay, um, we're going to create a class called small image, smaller image, and use it to resize the image so that it's 100 pixels wide. Uh, due to browser imp implementation differences, you may need to be at 100% zoom to pass this. Uh, to check if you're at 100% zoom, click the view button at the top, and you can say um, either zoom in, zoom out, or if you're at the actual size, you can press command zero to ensure that you're there. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We're going to create another CSS selector called smaller image and then we're going to put inside of it a width of 100 pixels. And um, I wonder if that's going to do it. It says your image should be 100 pixels wide um, and uh, this is the image here. Ah, so the reason that it hasn't happened yet is because we need to add the class selector to the image element. So this is the image element. This is one attribute. This is a second attribute. And we're going to add a third attribute. It doesn't matter where we put it. Um, so I'll just put it right here. I'm going to go class is equal to smaller image. Okay. And this shrinks down to 100 pixels and we've done it. I'm pretty sure we'll pass the test. Once again, um, the, it doesn't matter the order of the uh, class selector. You could put it in front of the alt tag as well and it would work just the same. I'm pretty sure that you could put it in front of the image tag, though I never see it like this. It does work. I never see it like this. Generally, the source always goes first, so I would recommend doing that. I would actually put this uh, class second if it, this was an app application that I was developing. And then also we created the CSS selector, and that's done it. So let's run the test, see if it passed. It did. Congratulations. You're moving on to the next lesson. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to the video if you found this useful. And um, let me know in the comments if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.